Okay, we're back. Let's try uh, HBM M. We have no pets. We have no insignias or crests of any kind. We're running Immortep, Thunder God, Druid, hidden in the center to protect. We've got Grizzly Reaper. And we've got Succubus. Five shard heroes available to anybody. Town Hall level 10. That is why everything uh, wall related is to the north and south. Using just 100 walls to build the base in the center. That is a sound base. It'll take you up to, uh, well so far we're at M. It'll take you two days to acquire this. Two days of Town Hall build time to get 100 walls. Yeah, two and a half days. only issue at this point is my buildings are very high level thereby making it difficult for the heroes to uh, break through these walls that'll stop pretty soon once we advance okay they're coming up and through they will not break through the walls they will head towards my heroes there we go I have stashed the buildings as equally as I can in the four corners. I have put uh, my highest level buildings in the center, inside of my base next to my uh, hero bases to provide a little ex extra cushioning. Something else for the uh, bad guys to zone in on and aim for. Starting to run out of buildings. Working on my town hall. Town hall's done. Got him. M5. Okay, there's M5. That brings us up to then N would be open to you. Let's try uh, HBM N, keeping it just as it is. And let's see what kind of a ramp up we get in not only the uh, number of heroes that we're facing, but the kinds of heroes that we're facing. We'll now see more modern day heroes. You can see they're not having too much difficulty getting through our buildings. I do have a sixth hero base that's stashed in the south of the screen. I do have hero totems, but they are also stashed away. So it's not to be part of this, uh, this equation. Notice how Thunder God is taking out heroes that are not necessarily next to him. He's hitting multiple heroes on the board globally. So is uh, Grizzly Reaper. Okay, we went through N. Let's take a look. Okay, we were at N. Now we have O available to us. Let's run an O. Again, I'm not changing bases. We're still within 100 walls, but equally distributing the buildings between the four corners of the screen. By doing so, we're not leaving too many buildings for anybody to have to smash 
We're also not giving uh, certain heroes the ability to charge up their skill and hit us from a distance. Equally distributing our buildings in the four corners, not allowing uh, the heroes to hop from one corner to the next by making them so close, keeping them away from each other so they just stay in the little corners. the speed, four to oh, one, we're not going to have any buildings left over once this uh, wave comes in, notice how by having my uh, highest health buildings above my hero bases the bad guys are targeting my uh my bases uh my uh gold towers and we're gonna have guys get uh, hung up this is gonna be a fail unless they can take my town hall down in time in seven seconds yeah we got hung up on that one i'm willing to try that again that's no problem there's a reason we lost they were unable to smash through the town hall in the amount of time that it took uh, for the uh, round to run out. Now on this particular spawn, we see that pretty much everybody comes from one side. Uh, that makes it much easier. I will tell you that there are going to be times, and this is a good example, there are going to be times where RNG, random number generation, has an awful lot to do with here be monsters. There will be times where you have the perfect heroes, you've got the perfect setup. I mean, everything was going great, and then all of a sudden, everything went south, and you, and you started to fail. It doesn't mean you should change your team. It doesn't mean that you should change your setup. It doesn't mean that you should necessarily change your base, unless they're smashing through the walls. What it does mean is you should press replay, and you should do that 5, 6, 10, 15, 20 times. Uh, at some of the advanced levels, it does take the heroes coming uh, pretty much all from one side, all five rounds, before you're able to get that kind of a victory. That's random number generation, and it's a roll of the dice. And you have to roll those dice many, many times to get the, uh, the result that you're looking for. Now, in this time, because the heroes... Uh, the bad guys distributed differently throughout the board. We were able to get through. Oh no, problem! It wasn't the uh, the problem wasn't the heroes. The problem was the buildings. Okay, let's start with P. We're gonna find by uh, A H and A I most especially that building placement and building simply surviving the onslaught of. Uh, of the enemy, that becomes the major challenge. That becomes the uh, the true test of whether or not you're going to make it through. And it took me, I'm going to say, 25 times before I got through HBM AI. And it wasn't that I was using the wrong heroes or had the wrong base. It was that each and every time, the bad guys came from different sides. Pretty soon, I had no buildings left. And here be monsters. If you lose your buildings you've lost, even if your heroes survive. So building health and keeping buildings alive is really, really, uh, it's as just, just, as much, uh, just as much of a factor as keeping your heroes alive. If anything, I would probably split it into thirds. There would be hero life, keeping heroes alive from round to round. There would be base design, having a sound base that is not going to allow the enemy to break through your walls. And there would be a, uh, uh, and we won that one. Okay, P. And it would be keeping your buildings alive because by the uh, rules of Castle Clash and IGG, we're on Q1, by the rules of Castle Clash and IGG, losing your buildings means that your game is up. I believe it is the same way in Infernal uh, Summit, one, two, three, and four. 
lose your buildings, and it's over. Same thing in Guild Wars. Your heroes can still be there, but if somebody has uh, blown up your buildings, you know, the game is over. So uh, it counts as a loss. So we're, we're racing through Q, Q1. The only uh, uh, enemies that part ways from the group so far, and this is RNG for you, uh, everybody's coming from the same direction, that's very nice. Uh, the only enemies that seem to part are the ones that are designed to attack towers. Uh, they could be copters, they could be those little mecha guys that, that blow up towers. So they move away from the uh, enemy heroes. But everybody else is pretty much just staying, staying together. We'll take it to the end of Q. If we can, try to take this paladin down. Come on, pally. There we go. I don't have anybody in the towers. What do we got? Nice. Okay, last level. What do we got? whole bunch of critters now they're all gone it's the beauty of this Immortep gives an area of effect a giant circle of death around him uh, our friend uh, Thunder God is able to attack globally Druid is giving you heals as well as a big attack bonus and everybody's going to be stronger then you've got uh, Grizzly Reaper who's able to attack globally and uh, you also have our friend uh, Succubus. Let me let me show you. Uh, I have an unholy pact. It, I, it, it uh, Immortep has a cooldown, so I put an unholy pact. If I had it to do all over again, I'd probably put a sacred light on him. I mean, it's a different game these days. Uh, try to keep your heroes alive. Uh, so Immortep is there um, because he has a cooldown. I would go something like a sacred light or a stone skin uh, now thunder god druid grizzly reaper succubus and there's nobody on the sixth base i wanted to recreate a five person base uh, those heroes have regenerate because none of the those heroes have a cooldown they don't have to rest in between activation of their skill and regenerate gives the biggest bonus in terms of uh, energy rejuvenation and energy production so uh always go regenerate on heroes that don't have a cooldown a hero like orc spain for example um let me pause for uh this time and i will come back with another few uh trips down hbm lane i'll see you soon Bye bye